So what happened this week? I showed you on Sunday how I had planned to long the British pound at 158.10 if price pulled back. This was the Friday market close. So price was here uh, around 158.70. And I said if it pulled back to 158.10, I would look for a long. And it caught this to the pip. I was so lucky with the spread here. Came down to 158.08, got my entry. And what did price do? I was looking for an overall target of 160 and it missed it by about four pips. There, it got up to 159.83, so six and a half pips from my target. What did I do? Well, had I been trading this purely on a daily chart, I could have moved my stop below the previous day's candle here, and it would have been taken out, and that would have left me with a gain of approximately 80 pips. But on a four hour chart, there was a good clue to get out of this trade. Hopefully now you can recognize from the candlestick patterns. Here we have a major move up on this four hour chart. We have a pin bar reversal candle. We have an indecision candle. We then have a reversal candle. I got taken out at 159.50 on this one because this made me nervous. And this arrangement then when we got this red candle started to go down, it was time for me to get out. So the entry, we had predicted the entry from a bounce trade. We took the exit from a reversal candle on a four hour chart. This is the Euro USD. And the Euro USD, I had said on Sunday, when price was way down here, that if price got back up to 13200, I would look to short. And therefore, I placed my order at 13190 for a possible short. On Thursday, so four days later, price came up, touched the area almost to the pip and is promptly fell away and is a hundred and odd pips in profit now from a move planned on a Sunday. Now this is the very simplistic chart as I've shown you and the major thing here of course was support and resistance and had you just simply traded it from this chart without any indicators on this occasion it worked. This being Forex, not everything worked and unfortunately this dollar yen trade missed my entry by four pips and went 70. The Aussie dollar yen missed my entry by 11 pips. This is very frustrating. This is what Forex is all about. I usually by going 10 pips below an area most of the time you will catch the moves. You just have to learn to live with it guys. It's not a loss, it's simply a missed opportunity and therefore it didn't cost me anything, you walk away. The Euro Yen didn't get near, the Euro Pound got absolutely nowhere near but I'll still look in the same area next week. The first CAD bounce trade of the week won and it won, remember I said to you that I moved my stops to entry after 25 pips and either take some of the profit off or leave the trade to run. In the current markets, because they are so choppy, I am definitely taking half of my position off after 25 pips, so I bank some profit. Stop to entry on the balance, it then got taken out on the retest, and the very next trade I shorted again here, and price simply went straight through, and I lost. You then had an opportunity when price broke back down below 100. The brave amongst you could have shorted again at the pullback. I didn't take it. The CAD was more choppy than ever this week, so I left it. And I will also be a little bit wary about 100 now for the week ahead. The pound Swissy. When I was making the video on the subject of flexibility, I showed you how, even though I don't trade this pair normally, I was looking for a potential breakout, but I noticed that we were in a range and therefore this was ideal and this was the line I put in on the video and what did price do? It came down, touched it to the pip, went back to the way and touched the upper line. So once again from a bounce trade you had the potential here of 70 odd pips worth of profit. I also showed you how we would be looking for a potential breakout. But until price breaks out of this area, then I will be simply looking for more bounces. 
when we do go for a breakout, as I explained, ideally in an upwards direction because we are trading with the trend, I will look for a break above this area, candle to close, pull back to the area or the area plus 10 pips, hopefully for a move further up. For a move down, I need price to break below this trend line, and this is more obvious on a daily chart. But again, you need a breakout below, candle to close, pull back to the line with a view to a further fall. Hopefully you have taken on board the significance, the importance of having more than one strategy and how even in difficult markets you can make profits from pre-planned trades. I hope that you've taken on board the fact, my recommendation, that you trade from four hour charts. If you need a thrill, take up parachuting. I treat Forex trading purely as a business. It's not a hobby. I don't do it for the fun anymore. I don't get a buzz out of it. I get the money. Always go for the money.